Hello, everyone. Welcome to Passerby. My name is Tom P, and this is Buster. And today, we're taking you on an exciting journey to a beautiful city of San Diego, California, and its world-famous zoo. Whether you're planning your next vacation or just curious about the San Diego and what it has to offer, you're in the right place. Plus, stick around until the end and I show you how to create a painting inspired by our visit. So let's dive in. <laughs> San Diego is known for its stunning coastline, vibrant culture, and a sunny weather. It's a gem on the Pacific coast. This city offers something for everyone, from pristine beaches and historic landmarks to a busting downtown area. Let's start with some quick overview of the what makes San Diego such a special place. One of the first thing you notice about San Diego is it laid back vibes and friendly locals. The city is home to a diverse population and a rich history and culture. With the influence of North Americans and Mexican and Spanish culture, it's also a hub for innovation and creative minds, with a thriving art scene and numerous museums. And of course, no trip to San Diego without completing visit to the world-renowned San Diego Zoo. Located in Balboa Park, this zoo is one of the largest and most progressive in the world, with over 3,500 animals across 650 species. Wow! What sets San Diego Zoos apart is that the commitment to conservative and education. They offer an array of interactive exhibit and experience, such as the Sky Safari, Arium Tram, Guided Bus Tour, and Animal Encounter. It's a fun place. And now that we have shared our incredible day at San Diego, it's time to capture those memories with a painting. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to creating a beautiful piece of art inspired by our visit. We'll be working with acrylic paint. Choose colors that remind you of San Diego vibrant scenery. Think blues and greens of the oceans and the zoo animals and the warm tone of the sunset. Here's our top three quality of working with acrylic paint. One is a quick drying time. It's allow artists to work fast and apply multiple layers in a shorter time frame. Especially beneficial for artists who like to work spontaneously. Second, versatility and flexibility. Acrylic paint can be used on a variety of surfaces, including canvas, wood, paper, 
and fabric. And third, most I like, it's easy cleanup. Acrylic paint is water-based, make it easy to clean brushes, palettes, and other tools with just soap and water. Let me share a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about myself and many of us face at some point of our lives. It's starting over after, after everything seemed to fall apart. Whether it's a devastating breakup or losing a financial stability or facing a serious health issue, it's tough. Yeah, I know I'm working on rebuilding some of those issues myself. First off, let's just acknowledge how heavy things can feel when life falls apart. Losing a relationship, money, or health can make you feel like the ground has been ripped out right from under you. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. Trust me, you're not alone in this. We've all been there. And those feelings does define who you are and where you are heading next. Let me share a bit about my journey. About three years ago, I lost all of my wealth, my investment, my, my nest egg, my retirement, everything. I had worked so hard for just vanished. Yeah, I got scammed, bro. And I feel like my hopes and my dreams disappear along with it. I was consumed by anger and, and hurt. I felt despair and shame. It was so shameful. I questioned everything. My decision, my worth, and my future. It had gotten so bad that I ended up homeless living in a van with my dog Buster. Imagine that, 50 years old now. All my savings gone. And suddenly, my home is my van. I am grateful for it though. But you know, I wake up each morning trying to figure out what to do next. Feed yourself and keep warm. Every day it felt like a struggle to survive. And, and the loneliness was, was crushing. To let yourself feel the pain when you're going through those hard seasons of life. You know, you can cry, scream, you write it all down and, and burn it. Whatever you need to process, do it. You know, I went out in the woods and did all of those plus some. Cursing, swearing, praying, yeah, yeah, lots of praying, pleading with God. You know, it was like a very bad, bad nightmare. And that went on for six months. Man, I was in, I was in a despair. But I kept from showing it. And and showing that everything was fine and everything was okay. But in the inside, it said something completely different. You know what I mean? I questioned myself, is my dream dead? Is my goal dead? I have to make a decision. First, I have to ex accept the responsibility and, and forgive myself. And that took some process. You know, before my plan and my dream was to travel in, in style, to retire before I turned 50. I would have the money to do it and there'd be no pressure. I would have bought a better looking, you know, RV. No, it's okay. The one I have now is perfect. Thank God for that. And I just want to travel and paint telling story. Have a good time. 100%. That was my plan. 
and now it's different. Well, after taking responsibility, the second thing you will need is, is faith. You gotta believe. I believe my faith in God will help me through this hard time. And still is while I'm rebuilding. So I took one year road trip. It's a journey to redefine my life and meaning and purpose. If you if you're going through a hard time now and and it's in a dark, dark place, you know what I mean? That place I recommend you need to seek professional help. There's no shame in letting or getting help from a therapist or a counselor. They can offer guidance and support. Remind me of, of Dr. Peel, Dr. Norman Vincent Peel, author of The Positive, the Power of Positive Thinking and The Power of Positive Living. I recommend them. And he will give his, his client will come to see him and he will give them a magic antidote. Whether they believe it or not, he told them, do this 10 to 15 times a day and really, really believe it. And today, I want to give to you, if you go into some hard time, that magic antidote. And do it 10 to 15 times as I'm doing. It goes something like this. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. There is power in this word. So to make long story short, been a couple years now I'm still a little broke, but not poor. I'm still here. And I am still going after my dream, telling my story and painting. And through this platform of YouTube, I hope to, to connect and grow a community that, that are going through life hard as hit. And bring some encouragement and joy through my painting and some fun and, and some silly adventure. And number three is play. Have fun. You know, take life seriously. But don't take life seriously. They both work at different time and season of life. And that's why there's a restart every 24 hours. All right. Let's get into some practical step so that you and I can start rebuilding our life again. First, we got to take care of our temple. It's our, our mind, number one. And as a man thinketh, so is he. So, so we got to protect our thought. Number two, our spirit, our soul. Know what God thinks of you. He loves you. And number three, your body. We only have one. So make it strong. Eat right. Get proper sleep. We all need those three daily habits to rebuild and redefine our life, to reach your full potential and live a promised a good life. And just like a painting, it takes time. Meanwhile, enjoy the process. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Stay strong, stay hopeful, and remember, your new story is just the beginning. You know, starting over isn't a sign of failure. It is a brave step forward building a life that is truly yours. Every end is a new beginning. 
You have the strength to create something wonderful, something beautiful out of the ashes. We are all in this together. And as we rebuild our life, let's continue to go after our dreams. No matter how old we are, what we have lost, or how impossible it seems, keep pushing forward. Your dreams are still within reach. And the journey to reclaim is within the possibility. If this episode resonates with you, share it with someone who might need to hear it. And subscribe to our channel for more story and tip to overcome life's toughest challenge together. Until next time, keep rising from the ashes. You got this. A beautiful painting that captures the essence of our day in San Diego. Whether you're an experienced artist or just starting out, this is a great way to keep memories on your track. And that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of San Diego and the amazing San Diego Zoo, as well as our painting session. If you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss 